Oh, Hater, doing good? I see that you've been busy with all of our memories. Playing with the animatronics? Don't worry, I know that you won't do anything bad with them. You're just surviving the difficult cluster in the memories. Oh, you want to know who I am? I'm Radimus, the director of TM Robotics Studio, which you will know soon what that is. And the creator of, uh, lots of things. You may be confused on why you are here, although, the real question is, would you persist the future memories? Oh, speaking of which, you must be curious in what is really going on. I don't have much time to answer all of your questions, but I'll answer any four of them. Alright, let's hop into it. How can I say this? Uh, he is a creation gone wrong. Ever since I cancelled the game I was making, the actual him ran off. The now you're meeting right now is the backed up version of him, which uh, I'm so ran off. I rebooted him so that he could take care of Cassidy, my other creation, the perfectly made one. After making him be able to freely roam around my home, he escaped, destroying almost everything in my home. He is now creating chaos by corrupting the games around the world. I'm not sure what he really wants, but I'm guessing he wants freedom. He is here in my house, in the computer, but he is also everywhere. In the games giving freedom to the characters trapped within the games. Well, I don't see the game well as he does, but I can tell that what he's doing is going to bring chaos to the whole internet. Needless to say, it's my fault. Wilson? To put it simply, he is just a friend of mine. Ever since we met, we came up with the idea of being mechanics. We improved, and eventually, we started the tech business, then we upgraded to an animatronic company, where we make animatronics and provide them to other companies worldwide. A few months later, he was acting strange. He was acting as if the animatronics were going to kill him, always angry when the animatronics had even a tiny problem. I'm not so sure what happened to him, but I am certain that it's one of the animatronics' fault. He thinks that it was one of us that made the animatronics act like that. But I assure you, it wasn't any one of us. He used to be a pretty nice guy, to be honest. Don't know what happened to him now. I am not the one who created this game. The creators of this game is Oxtority and Phantom Plague.
but I am the one who gave you a purpose, a true purpose. Well, you can have fun, but you will, even without knowing it, save us all from this trance. A world with no purpose, a meaningless world, a hopeless world, a tragic story. It will reach its conclusion, the good conclusion. She is my fifth, almost fully complete creation. After four years, I was able to make something that was stable, something that listens to my every word. The thing about her color, though, her skin was gray, and her dress was a dark shade of gray. I had to make the whole society here familiar with her. It took me a while, but they were okay with her here, as long as she wouldn't bring chaos to the society. Well, she isn't a robot, no. She's a human with all common human abilities. She can read, walk, play, cook, skip. Though there was just one problem. She can feel happy. She does cry at times, but I don't know why she never smiles. She plays with other children and does smile to them, but that was to make them feel happy. She isn't really feeling like that, however. I have never seen her smile ever in my life. There you have it. Your four asked questions are answered. Looks like it's your time to go back now. This world's fate is in your hands. What will you do? What will your first move be? It's up to you now. Good luck.